Hello, it's Debbie. Welcome to your home, your happy place and part two of my biggest haul ever. My spring Easter haul I did while I was in the St. Louis area. I had so much fun, but it was so much. I couldn't get it all into one video. It was just too long. So today you're still going to see things from um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and then two boutiques that I went to. Um, and maybe there's an Amazon in there. I will link below what I can. Of course, I'm not going to be able to link a lot of it because it's not linkable. However, I always go and look, and I do. I take lots of time, shop on Amazon to find similar products. And when I can't find even a similar product, I may just say, hey, here's a great vase or here's a great candle or a tray that you might enjoy for spring. So uh, if you're looking for a little personal shopper who was a stager and interior decorator, check out those links below. And I thank you guys every time for your comments. I really so appreciate it. You know, because I talk back to every single one of you. Love you all. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And when y'all are done, give me that like, share, comment, and I'll see you next time. But till then, enjoy the rest of this video. So I was at the little boutique. And I bought like three trays there. That was my goal. I went in there and I saw these trays and I went crazy. So I'll, I'll do trays after this last floral. But anyway, this particular tray had these in it, plus a lot of other stuff. I don't know. But after she took these out, I'm like, I kind of said, I said I wanted one or two or three. And we set them in here and it was like, uh, ta-da! I mean, I just loved it. I loved it. Is nothing but these three little pops of anything. I mean, you could put some little candlesticks in here and turn it into a centerpiece. You could pop a bunny or something inside, or you could just pile it up and do some other filler, whatever. Anyway, this one is metal on the bottom. And then, of course, inside as well, it's metal. And then this beautiful edging. Okay, so how much was this guy? He was $40. Again, I'm gonna, I, I do have another comparison. So then I'm at Hobby Lobby and I see this. Now, yes. Are they the same size? No, no. And are they the same depth? No. And this one's very like, this is like, it reminds me of the kind of wood that we used to make planes out of, you know, the little kind that you'd buy. So very cheap wood. Um, oh, the price, it's not gonna be on this one. Well, I don't know how much it was, but it was way cheap compared to $40. It might have been $14. It might have been less. So, and it's just as cute. But, you know, for what I was doing, this makes it whole centerpiece. And this is something, you know, for some side area. So, okay. Let me get into my trays. So, you've seen two of them. And set these aside. I just, you've got to look, when you go into a boutique, you've got to look at it all. I took a long time looking. And while you might like things as a whole, start breaking it down and say, well, but I really don't want that piece. Well, you can hardly have even seen this because look at how shallow that is. But it's a big piece and it had a lot of stuff on it. And it was funny when I picked it out, she goes, oh my gosh, I didn't even know we had this here. It just came in last week. You know, and it's, um, is it antique? Probably not, no. This is a shop that, you know, they do a lot of restorations. No, it's not. This was made in the Philippines. It's Creative Co-op. Could you find it on Amazon? Maybe. If you can, I'm afraid to no, because I paid over $100 for this, you guys. This is not an outside piece. It, it It's real wicker. It's like the wicker I just had to toss. Mine had wood rot or whatever. Um, this is, this is great. I have no idea right now what I'm doing with it, but I knew I needed trays. The other one, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Let me just pull the stuff out. And I just knew I had to have it. This is a statement piece. 
I mean, this could be in a centerpiece of a big table. You can fill it up. I would do asymmetrical with this. I would fill it up with something over here and then have some things over here that are standing up a little bit. You can do a total vignette in this. If you have a deep enough fireplace mantle, gorgeous. If you have a big enough coffee table, gorgeous. Um, even, and I would never do it because I want to see it so much, but this would be great on top of like a piece of furniture with stuff in it. <clears throat> it's not, I would not call it stable enough for a serving tray. If you were going to put it on your table and line it and put some plates in it, use it that way, absolutely. But not something that you, you know, carry drinks around in. <laughs> no, no, no. Again, this one was, I guess she took the price tag off, but oh no, she didn't. I wish she had. So this one was actually less expensive, if you can believe it, than the other one. But the other one, I believe, is a heavier um, wicker. And this is um, not wicker. This is probably more, I don't even know. This is more basket weavy. It's really not as substantial, but it still was $110. These are pieces I'm going to keep the rest of my life. I did not buy these lightly. I invested $200 and something dollars into them, them knowing they were going to be the, th the things that I was saying, I'll open up and go, ah. and actually for me, a lot of these, these two pieces are year round. I can, I can work with these almost year round. I can see that one already with Christmas ornaments and things in it. So, okay. Then I got to Hobby Lobby and I had fun. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this tray. See the curving? This is not small. This is wood. It's not a heavy wood. Um, okay, so it wasn't, I don't think it was 50% off. So, but I'm just guessing, you know, 40, so it's 40% off. So it was marked $29. So, you know, it was probably somewhere around $17 or $18. Under $20 for this tray. This is gorgeous. After what I just showed you and what I paid. If I was at the other store, I know that would have been at least $89. I am not kidding you. And how do I know? Because every store I went into, both boutiques and Hobby Lobby, had the bunny head with the glasses on. It's like $18 at Hobby Lobby, plus you get 40% off. The other ones, $39 and up. So really know your stuff before you go shop a boutique. Either you can't find it anywhere else or you're just, you gotta have it now. I mean, I don't know, just know your stuff. Okay, here was another one. This is metal. Um, this one didn't have a price on it. I think they ended up giving it to me. They said it was 14 something. They gave it to me for 7.99. So um, this came in three or four sizes. So there's a smaller one, but it's a little too small. Like I've got my little, Oh, I've got my little guest towels, my rabbit guest towels. So it's way too big for that. Um, so I'm going to probably, well, I'm not going to go back to this one. It's way too far away from the house. But this week I'm going to go to the one where we live and see, you know, I'll just grab some towels at their store and see if they fit. Because um, that's kind of, I'm really in need of a, a little tray for my towels right now. Okay, what else? I, it wasn't the only one I bought there. You saw the white one, and then I picked up this cute, oh my gosh. Are we talking French country yet? It's so cute. I love this. This one, $34.99, so 40% off. I mean, it, there's just no words. What am I gonna do with this one? Well, I've already had a preliminary fun time playing with it in front on my mantle set up like this with, you know, Mr. Ugh, heavy bunny head in front and then a ball and whatever, right? Or I may just go, you know, regular old, I'm going to put my little coffee press and stuff on it and um, make it my little coffee serving tray in this little room. So there's that. I have 
napkin rings galore, just like I have everything else. But when I see something special, <laughs> these were too cute to pass up. They're so happy. I've got all these little grandkids. Actually, I have more grandkids than I have these, but they didn't have more. I would have got them. Um, they're just adorable. They're $12.99. That's a little pricey. I think they probably should have been $7.99, but whatever. Um, but they're colorful. So that's going to take me over here. I saw this and I'm like, I had seen this part and I thought, okay, let me look at that. That'll go so good with those little multicolored. I mean, look at it. Let's, I always like to show you my inspiration stuff. All the colors of those little rabbit bottoms are in there. See it? Hopefully you can. Yellow, pink, blue, and green. It's all there. So that's beautiful. But this particular one was just like the one I did here for Valentine's Day. They double layered it. They're selling it that way. So it's shorter on the top like that. Basically, you're getting two. I mean, they're showing it like you're getting two, but you are getting two. You're getting two completely separate, but yet you're paying one price, which was $19.99. So regardless, and this one has flowers, Easter baskets, and eggs. So you could use this just for Easter and then take it off or, or start with this now and then take it off and just use this for your color palette for spring or summer, both. Anyway, I don't know which house this is going at. I haven't set the table here yet, but I already kind of have a vision in mind, which takes me to two more cloths. Again, I saw this one and I just thought, beautiful, calming. I loved it. And it was long enough that I know it can be used in a lot of places. You always should measure your tables, extended and down. And always kind of have that in your mind, like this is a 72 inch round. And then when I put it out, how big is it as an oval? Because, but I always am going to have that 72 inches as far as a table runner, because I can go over the shortest side. So I need a couple inches hanging down on either side most of the time. I know it doesn't always work out. Anyway, I think I'm taking this home with me um, and into my other house. And we'll see what's going to happen there. And then... I had a vision. Well, it's not a vision. I did not have a vision. I cannot claim this. I was at the Three French Hens, and they had crisscrossed, and I'm sure I've seen it before, but they had taken two table runners and put them, put one this way and one the other way on a round top table. And in the center, actually, they did a tear tray, um, and they had it really done nicely. I may have gotten a video or a picture of it. I don't know. Um, but they had a beautiful pale white and green, pale green um, plaid, kind of gingham, but bigger um, placemats and napkins. And I said, do you have a runner for that? And they didn't, or I would have bought it there, which, you know, maybe it's good that they didn't. I looked all over yesterday, ended up at Home Goods in the evening, and this is um, 80 inch, so it works here for me. It'll have give me three inches hanging. It's not the greatest amount, but it'll give me three inches hanging on each side. So it's $12.99 and they had two. It's the only one they had two of and they're green and cream. And I've already kind of put out my um, thought that I'm going to be using maybe these, this green and my pink over there. So, okay. Do I have any more cloth? A couple more napkins, I'll show you that. I kept looking for some napkins to go with this. There was nothing, there was no solid green, there wasn't a cream. Um, I've got a green plate, pink plate. I didn't even know what to do, but what I don't have is pattern going on. So I picked up this and I picked it up knowing that I'm pretty sure I have a tablecloth or runner already at my other house made of this, but I don't have the napkins. And I'm not sure if they had any more of them. $7 for this pack of four. So I may use that with this. I don't know. It's got pale green, blue, a very pale yellow, buff yellow, gray, and cream color in it. It's gorgeous colors. Very muted. And then I picked up this one, which is um, 
six napkins, and this is just gray and white, and these are totally Easter, but I loved it. And you know I've got those gray plates. Okay, we're winding down, we're winding down. Like, did you guys see this at TJ Maxx? Isn't this adorable? I'm not putting this outside. I don't think it's capable of being outside. Oh my gosh, it's even pretty on the other side. This was $40, $39.99. I think it was totally worth it. Um, if us, this was at the boutiques, it would have been $129 for sure. No, no doubt. I mean, it's adorable. So I'm taking it home. Not sure where it's going. And okay, winding down. You saw these napkins. I, I always pick up a few of these because when you have company, I just feel like it's the most sanitary thing to do. You offer this. If they still want to use your uh, cloth towels, fine. But after two people use them, they're wet. And you're not going to be in there changing them out. So you do this and people sometimes pick it up and understand. Um, I like birds. Um, I have quite a few, but these were cut out. I loved it. I love that they were graduated. They kind of remind me of their own little candlestick sort of look. They also look French country to me. They were, and it's tabletop week at Hobby Lobby, so they were uh, almost half off, or they were half off. I don't, something was 50% off and something was 40, so I can't keep up with it, but $15 and $20. So not cheap, but I really think these are keepers. I am not, I don't feel like these are, these do not look like something that came from Hobby Lobby in, you know, you can't just, you can't walk into somebody's house and go, oh yeah, that's the Hobby Lobby. If, as if somebody's gonna do that anyway, because most things are so great, they wouldn't dare. But I mean, this looks like something that would have come out of that French Hens boutique, for sure. Um, another item I picked up there with birds was a soap dish. So it's got, it, it, it looks like a nest on the, and it's just white. Now I can use that as a soap dish or I can put this by this sink for, I could put my sponge in there if I had a sponge or a Brillo pad or whatever, or I can use it just for rings. Um, you could just set it out on a tr on a table. Um, you could put a little potpourri in it. I mean, come on. You could, if you have a business office and you decorate for that, this is the perfect size for business cards. I mean, I could come up with a thousand ways to use this. So it was just worth it. Um, I had no idea. I think I, they decided it was $5.99, so I got it for $3. I saw these and I was like, um, I'm not sure I need these, but I don't have any black chargers. And these were just, I just, they just called my name, $1.99. And they were on sale. So were they a dollar? Oh my, I guess so. And they're plastic. Yeah. Hobby Lobby. Okay. And then I also picked up, I've already shown it to you, this metal one. Um, so this is, and don't forget, they have this thing in the store that says if it's from the spring shop, it's, you know, 40% off or 50% off. So I, that's what these were. So I got four of those, or maybe I got six. Something I didn't get out, I'm not going to probably show you here, was a little bitty pedestal. It's a, It looks like a little cake stand. It's about this big on the base and maybe this big on the top, and it stands about this tall. I think they were like a dollar each. They came in gray, pink white and that's maybe all the colors I saw a lot of them were chipped I had to I couldn't find any gray ones that weren't chipped um, they'd been picked over already so I picked up eight uh, gray uh, pink ones and I just no idea what I'm gonna do but I feel like they could be really pretty on a tablescape you know how much I love a tablescape okay actually had something in my cart on Amazon of a bigger variety. It was exactly the same little thing here. But I saw these sitting at, well, I'm not going to tie them up. Saw these at Hobby Lobby. And I just, something's calling my name. I love the texture. Um, I could see these, well, I really could see these in a male space for sure. Um, I would love them. If my husband and I had like separate bathrooms, I would love to do his decor 
you know, very masculine. I, I could just see the deep woods or rugged wood in, in a paler color and some leather and gold. It just sounds beautiful. And textures like this. Um, in his office, I could see this being used, but I could totally see it on a desk. I mean, you could totally put, you know, tape in there or, you know, the gadgets and then a little bit bigger stuff. You could even put maybe some smaller envelopes, you put your stamps. I mean, a thousand uses again. Um, but I could also see this on a tray. I can just see it as part of decor. Um, could I get my um, remotes in here? Maybe. I mean, I just love it. So then I put it in my cart. I don't think I ordered it yet. I think they're actually um, quieter color than this. This is more of a cognac and the other ones are, I don't know what to call them, but they were bigger. So they were like to put papers in. And I just, I'm kind of into this. I love this look. Okay. That was Hobby Lobby. And I picked up one thing I noticed at the um, very expensive boutique was doing a whole lot of little stuff on trays. Some of the littlest trays I've ever seen um, were just so beautiful. And it would be stuff, something like this, so it would be the little flower that they would put with it because there wasn't room for much of anything. And this was on sale, um, so I don't know how much it was, 40% off or whatever, so it's $12.99 at um, Michael's. It says flowers and garden. And I just love it. And I think, it, again, it would look amazing on, on one of those. Just I could just see it. I found these also. I, I just was crazed in the, in the Hobby Lobby area. This is not a section that I usually go in where the baskets and stuff are. So I saw this and I thought, this is exactly what I need to display my towels. Now, one of you sweet commenters suggested that I get a ladder and that I could get it on Etsy and put it. And I told you, I'm that's not a ladder girl. I've never bought the ladders. And I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not into them. Plus, I just don't feel like I would use it. Even if I don't, <laughs> I want it to look like I would. This is perfect. I can let some of it hang out over. I can tuck in some more stuff. I, I love it. $13.99 on sale, of course, 40% off. And then I bought this one too because I just couldn't let it go. I thought it was so darn cute. And I thought, well, what if I just put soap in it? What if I just put the little sponges or the dish towel? I mean, I could think again. And then I started putting just one of these little bitty ones on a table setting and thinking, you could just do so much. You could have so much fun with something like this. You could use these in the bathroom like crazy. Anyway, so I think I'm going to do that in the kitchen. Okay, I have a pillow. And one other thing, I think, and I'm done. I hope this wasn't an hour-long video. I got this before, and I don't think I showed it, but maybe I did. So I'm going to take this home and put it, maybe I'm going to take it home. Oh, I do have one more thing I have to get besides the other thing that I have here. Um, anyway, I see this in, on the bench in the laundry room, but I have one here too. So I don't know. I may try it here before I go. All right. I looked all over for lamps, and I wanted... I, I was seeing so many of the wooden, curvy, of course, that was at the French country store, but I was seeing a lot of them, and I thought, you know, I could use some lamps. I could use them um, in several places in this house, and then I started thinking about my other house and how I wanted a buffet-type lamp on my uh, thing by my big giant mirror, because I wanted some height. Everything I'm putting in there is just kind of to there. And so I'm at, I always bought my lamps at Home Goods. And so I thought, sure enough, I'll find something. And I found something I was like hemming and hawing. And I went through it three times. And on the second or third time through, I'm like, oh, where was this? I did not see this. You guys, first of all, it's gorgeous. Here's the base, very modern base. So again, this could work in any decor. I love this. This cord holder basically was what it is. And then a Capizzi shell. You know me and my shells. Oh my gosh. This was gorgeous. So yes, I spent $50 on it. I mean, I think that's $49.99. Yeah. So I bought two of them. So I spent, I spent a little bit this time, but I've got some pieces that will last my life. And I am so thrilled with that. Last thing I'm gonna go grab 
I know you haven't been in this laundry room in a long time. It's usually a mess. Um, I regret, well, I, I'm not going to say that. We bought a, what would you call it? The little bench thing. I don't, I can't think what they're called. With the hooks and, you know, you can sit down and put shoes on and all that jazz. We bought it. I showed you it to you in my video. The color's beautiful. The style is gorgeous. And it does what we bought it for, which was to provide a little space like that, but also to hide the fact that there's, you know, all the crud that's coming out of the back of the dryer and the washer, you know, because they can't go against the wall because you got all this tubing and I didn't want to see that. But after having one custom built for very nominal, I thought, fee at our other house that goes all the way to the ceiling and is so much more substantial than this piece, I'm just kind of disappointed that I didn't... I don't know, try and find that. Now I wouldn't have probably found a cabinet maker or whoever down here that would have done it for that price. And I don't think that my cabinet makers are inexpensive down there at, in any way, but that piece for some reason was. Anyway, okay, I'm saying a lot just to say I have a lot of space above it because again, these are nine foot ceilings and um, that thing is shorter than my washer and dryer. And I think I'm going to wallpaper that room. But anyway, I saw this piece at Hobby Lobby. And it's just like, I love it. I think if you've seen all of my videos, there's one where I'm standing on my back porch outside of my laundry room where I'm telling you, I'm probably owed about three of the of these clotheslines that, you know, you can pull out from the wall and stuff. I love a clothesline. I air dry almost all of my clothes. Um, but I've never been allowed to have one. Now I can have one at this subdivision as long as they can't see it from the road, which doesn't make it super convenient. But this is like that kind of vision. I love this. This makes me happy. And so I bought it to go in my laundry room. And as you can tell with the greens and everything, this is green. The room, I'm doing a whole lot of green this spring. Thought we painted the whole room green. And then we've got um, gray in there. So it looks great. Okay, you guys, I know this was a lot. I hope it was informative. My biggest takeaway from it is go to the boutiques and get inspired first and hold on to your pocketbook <laughs> and visit your TJ Maxx, your home goods, your home at home store, wherever your places are. Tuesday morning, you know, world market. I don't have a world market where I live, but go to some of those places that are not so high priced. Or like go to Pottery Barn and then go to those. Go to the places where you get your inspiration. See how they style things. And then go to these other stores and see what you can dupe. Maybe you're not even duping. Maybe you're buying the exact same item at less than half the price. That's my advice today. I hope you had fun. If you did, give me a like. Press subscribe and notify, comment, and I'm going to see you in my next video real soon. Bye, everybody. I love you.